right, welcome back to part three. We're on hole number 13. It's a par four, it's 432 yards. Uh, there is all hazard along the right-hand side. Anything going right of the uh, cart path is definitely gonna hit the hazard. Lots of room left and uh, straightforward par four. And uh, the golf hawks are up one on the girls. All right, got 182 left. I'm uh, just gonna hit a smooth seven iron. Looks like the pin's uh, back middle, so uh, anything below the pin's okay. Started at the left side of the green with the draw ahead in front of that bunker. Uh, stayed short of it. I'm gonna use my hybrid. I'm a little antsy about this because you can't go long, and I, I would probably go long, but my five iron isn't gonna get there, so I'm gonna try to do like a smooth hybrid. Started out the middle of the green with a little fade, but this looks pretty good. Yeah, nice bounce too. It's kicked up, rolling towards the pin. Really good shot. Well done. Next year, I'm going to club down quite a bit. Um, we've got a little bit of a downwind, and it's quite downhill. Oh, this looks awesome. Right out the pin. Let's, oh, a nice bounce too. Oh, she, just a little bit long, but I think she'll be putting. All right, just pump one past everyone. Feels good to actually hit a good driver for once. <laughs> I got 143, I'm gonna hit the pitching wedge. It's a little bit downwind. Uh, they both hit pretty good shots up there, so I'm gonna go for the make. We started it just left of the pin. It's drawn over a little bit, but he caught a thin, but I think it's gonna be great. Great distance control. It's probably about 12 feet just left of the pin. All right, some pretty good shots in here. That's Isabel on the right, and then Elisa's just on the fringe over there, right behind her, and then I was over here pin high. And Coach ended up a little bit short of the green, so he's gonna be chipping up from down below the green a little bit. Oh, almost went in, really nice shot. up and down. Thank you. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> Not very happy Did, with that hole. You dodged a bullet there. We could have ended this. <laughs> Just kidding, almost. <laughs> 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 We've been on the road. <laughs> could have got it back to even though. Yeah. Run, running out of holes. All right guys, par four here, 300 and something yards. We got a couple bunkers on the left hand side up on the hill and then uh, anything to the right of this fairway looks like it's going to be in the hazard or a ravine or something like that. So. And tee shot's really important here, just like most of the holes, and then from there should be uh, pretty straightforward. hybrid a little bit into the rough over here. I got 115, I'm gonna just hit a hybrid, go right out this hole and uh, see if we can make a birdie here. I caught it a little thin at the pin with a nice fade. Looks like it went a bit long. Just coming back. I got 68 yards. Just gonna hit a nice high flop uh, lob wedge and uh, hopefully get it close. Get a really good shot, it's nice and high. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be pretty close. 122, 120 I would normally take my nine iron, but today I'm gonna take my eight and do like a punch shot. Looks good. Great shot on the green. So I went in the hazard. I thought I'd be a hero and hit driver. <laughs> so just back on the line of entry. We've got 76, so that's uh, almost a full 58 degree. No. Bunker. All 
All right, Big Cat went a little bit long. Uh, he just stayed inside the, uh, the red stakes. He's got a pretty tough chip to about right there. Uh, green's pretty firm, but it looks like the pin's in kind of like a little funnel. I just chunked it. All right, looks like me and Isabel are just a little bit long right here. And then the one closest to the pin is Elisa uh, out of the bunker. So she's got a little par putt there. Oops, sorry about that. Clutch. We want this win. It's been a little while since we've actually taken the girls down, so we're gonna grind it out. All right, part three here, 166 yards, and you can see just a huge bunker in front that you do not want to be in. It looks pretty nasty with a big lip, so play here is uh, missed to one of the sides or a little bit long, but that pin looks like it's uh, a little bit in the back. Not too much wind right now, so let's uh, see if we can knock a good one in there and make a putt. Get a really nice shot there. Started up towards the right and drawn back. Oh, I just hit the bunker lip. Oh, big cat hit that one crispy. Just right of the pin, kind of hanging there, but should be good. Yeah, back fringe, good shot. Started it just right of the pin, drawn over, but the wind's kind of holding it up. Okay, just came up a little shy, uh, right part of the green. Uh, Isabel just hit this pure right of the pin, just drawn over so nicely. All right, good shot, she's on. All right, Elisa ended up right here, just short of uh, the green. Coach ended up in the trap, and then Isabel is on the back side of the green over there, and I'm on this side of the green off of it. Oh, he clipped that so nicely. Great shot, Coach. Little three-footer left for Parski. Very nice shot. Oh. Coach continues to carry the team. Nice par, good up and down. Par five here, 501 yards. Obviously just a ton of trash on the left, so we're gonna try to go over pretty much down the line of this car path, maybe just a little bit left of it, and uh, kind of between that bunker and tree down there is the target line, so. Gonna just try to pump one down there and see what we got left on this par five. to get there. I probably can't make it, but I'm going to try to make it over the ravine because why not? And you should go go big or go home. Well, she started up the right side. It's drawn over. I think it's going to clear. No, nope, it's in the hazard. All right. Um, I've got my 150 club. I'm going to lay up. Oh, she hit that perfect little field goal through the tree. You can probably see a bounce. There it is. Nice. All right, didn't really hit a good drive right there, but I uh, managed to hit the fairway. I've got two of one left. Just gonna hit a hard five iron and uh, center of the green with a nice little draw. And if you guys want one of those hats that coach is wearing, they're in the store. Pick one up, appreciate the support. Let's go use those legs, you know what to do. Let's put this match to bed. Put these kids down. You started that at the right side of the green, drawing over, this looks really good. Yeah, looks like it's uh, went up above the green and just kind of stayed there, but really easy shot from there, I think, and uh, he's in good position. All right, hit a pretty good drive there. Uh, I got about the same yardage as Mike, maybe a little a couple yards less, but I'm gonna hit the same club, five iron, and just go for the right side of the green, and the fades, uh, it'll be in there nice and close. 
I started that right at the pin, fading over. Hopefully it catches the bunker, but uh, might be in the hazard on the left. I've got 84 to the pin. Uh, pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna hit my 52 and it's not quite full. So a little sawed off 52. It's a little long, mm -hmm. but okay. So Isabel took a drop here. Pretty much the same shot as me. 84 yards. I'm gonna do a kind of like more like a knockdown 52. That looks perfect. Oop. A little short, but very nice. All right, looks like uh, Elisa is just a little long on the fringe right here. And uh, I ended up just on the right side fringe. And we'll see if the big cat stayed up. All right, looks like the big cat might have gone in at this little chip right here. All right, with some spin, it's got about six, seven, eight feet left. Touch right there. Nice. Great five. All right, the girls are officially dormy right now. This is a hole number 17. It's a par three. It's 177 yards, and it looks like there's basically uh, about 150 yard force carry uh, with uh, hazard. And then uh, anything right of the uh, green is going to be in the bunker, which looks like a really tough bunker to be in. So uh, I think the miss here or the play is uh, miss a little bit left. Big Cat pulled it just a little bit right of the pin. Oh, and he's in the bunker of death over there. Start at the bunker on the right and staying there. Oh, she got over it. She's on the green. Just gonna have a long putt. This looks pretty good. Started at the pin with a little fade. Headed for the middle of the green. Yep, good distance control on the dance floor. Started at the pin with a little bit of a draw headed for the left side. And I think it's gonna just miss the green on the left. All right, looks like I ended up uh, just kind of in the fringe right here, about 25 feet to the pin. So Elisa is right in the center. And then Isabel is probably got about a 60 footer. And the big cat is in that front bunker right now. I caught it kind of kind of thinny. Ended up just going a little long in the, in the rough. Carrying the team. All right, we're on the 18th right now. I'm walking up the tee box. This is so cool. It's like a little mound and you got water all around you. So you're on a little peninsula. Pretty neat. Look at how beautiful it is out there. Big old reservoir. You can see the other, I think that was the 10th hole over there on the other side. Pretty cool spot. Very nice golf course. Hole number 18, just under 400 yards, and it looks like it's turning to the right. We got some bunkers on the left, but the fairway looks like pretty good size, so I think we're gonna just drip a driver down there and see what we got left. tee shots through very well. I think we're all tired and just wanted to finish, just banged our drivers out. So I'm safe fortunately. I've got 132, gonna hit my nine iron down there. Oh, she hit that just a little bit right of the pin. 
Slightly drawn over, oh, there it is. Oh, really firm bounce, but kind of leaking towards it. Not bad though, good shot. All right, I'm just in front of Elisa in the bunker. I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge and uh, just go right at it. Well, he started it just right of the pin. It's kind of fading a little. All right, came up a little shy. We're about the same distance. You wanna do a closest two for five bucks? Okay, let's do it. All right, what do you got here? Uh, uh, 120. I'm going to hit my 9-iron and maybe like a little more flighted shot. Oh, she started just right of the pen, drawn over really nice. Oh, she, she just went a little bit long on the fringe. Uh, it's got to be on the green to count. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so I got a closest two with Isabella for five bucks. She just missed the green, unfortunately. So uh, I'm just going to aim for the middle and uh, win my five bucks. <laughs> Started this at the middle, but it's drawn over a little bit. Let's see if it'll catch it. Oh, and it ha! Oh, he's in the fringe. He did not get his five bucks. All right, so Lisa ended up right here, just in the fringe. We got Isabella over here, pretty much pin high. Pretty good shot, but she's not on the green. And Coach, who we thought was missed the green, he's actually on the green, so he's gonna get the five bucks. All right, the big cat caught that a little thinny with some spin. All right, he's got about 12 feet left. Great pot. Yeah, great, great, good job. Oh, that was a lot of Five fun. Bucks, but I got the birdie, so who's the real winner here? <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We had an awesome time out here at Strawberry Farms. Everything Thanks to is. Isabel and Elisa for joining us. Uh, Coach played great today, totally saved the team, and uh, we got that W finally. <laughs> it's been a while, we'll be right? Back. Yeah, it feels like it's been over a year since we've don't won, get so. Used to it. <laughs> Make sure to follow these ladies uh, on Instagram and uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying these videos. And uh, yeah, like Marco mentioned, big thanks to these ladies for coming out and joining us and uh, Strawberry Farms for uh, having us out here at the golf course. See you guys next time. <laughs>